Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Portal Part 2. We are just now going to, I believe... Test Chambers... 9? I don't know. Is it going to get another load screen? I think it will. Yep. Hang on. I don't think you guys can hear me, so I'm going to turn down my sound. Alright, that should fix it. Please know that we have added a consequence. Hold on, I'm a little bit too low. It's for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record. What was that? By death. Good luck. <laughs> Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record. Oh, that's right. Oh. Well, good news is I just remembered how to do this. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory uh, mark on your official testing uh, record. Oops. Followed by death. I'm good luck. But anyway, I missed. <laughs> um I just gotta wait for it to return, because I'm definitely not jumping that. As much fun as it may be. How dare you just move me on your own. I really can't think of anything to say right now. I believe the next one I get. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. I believe that the next one is where I get the second portal gun part. Looks like a minigun there. Uh, the enrichment center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Uh, Make no attempt to solve it. Woo! Um... Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, where are we? Oh, okay. Hello again. To reiterate, <laughs> Yeah, okay, whatever. Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Those of you who have not played Portal 2, or, um, Portal, don't worry, it does get harder. Speaking of Portal 2, though, I have just watched a few, um, a few videos from it, and it looks awesome. I might do a Let's Play of it if I ever get it. If I get it, if I do get it, I will the be doing a... The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. 
For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Anyway, um... If I do get a portal 2, I will be playing it. No! I will be, um, doing a let's play of it. No! Second gun, by the way, if you haven't noticed by now. The device has been modified so that it can now manufacture two linked portals at once. As part of an optional test protocol, we are pleased to present an amazing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject phone call. Here. Take your faith. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, left camera. You can do it. You can do it, big boy. Anyway. Ah, uh, come on. Speed up. Hello. Chamber 10 here. Or or eleven. I don't know. Here we go. Alright, what am I doing here? Oh, okay. I know what I'm doing. Get Anything to say again? Okay, this one is where it gets a bit harder. Now that you are in control of both portals, this next test could take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you Oops. with peptic salve and adrenaline. Yeah, okay, good with that. And are you? Now, oh, because I really don't want to go back in there to get the cube, I'm just going to do this. As part of a previously mentioned required test protocol, we can no longer lie to you. When the testing is over, you will be missed.
Alright, I'm gonna shut it off here and see you guys in part 3.